So, Judy? Yeah, when I was a kid. What sort of kid were you? A little shy and overindulged, maybe? A little shy? That's hard to picture. <laughs> it is beyond imagining, isn't it? Everyone told me I was a strange child. Yes, I can see that. A child being called strange by strange people. She must have been Judy-like since she was little. I'd like to ask you all exactly what that means to each of you. city in a place like this there's so many types of blastia I've never seen before looks like the Critians really were the ones who created blastia in the first place yes seeing all this blastia makes it very easy to believe that it sure would be nice if we happened upon a way to do something about your power mrs. Stell really that would be nice but it's not working. It doesn't have a core. It's just the body. This city has stopped using Blastia. What you see here is what everyone threw out long ago. Why would they do that? Because that was the path we chose. It's been a long time, Elder. So you were the cause of all this commotion outside. You've returned to us. These children are humans who are traveling with me. Hmm. This is Blastia, is it not? Yes, it's my Bodhi Blastia that I use. Hmm. I thought that Earth Dwellers had stopped using Blastia, like us. Do you not use the Blastia here because it uses a special formula too? There are no normal or special types of Blastia. Blastia is made by crushing Apatheia and processing those pieces with technology to produce cores and through the absorption of air. Hold it. Cores are made from crushed apatheia? Indeed, that is what the stories say. It appears apatheia was too powerful in its original form. Even without that power, it is a stone more valuable than any precious gem. This is why its power was restrained, by breaking it into pieces and carving formulas into it and thus its numbers were also increased. Our legends tell us that cores were always produced in this way. A bit ironic, huh? Yeah. The apatheia that comes from Entelikeia, who hate Blastia, is necessary to make the very Blastia that they hate. Maybe Pharaoh didn't tell us about Apatheia because he felt uncomfortable talking about it, you think? Elder, there are many things I'd like to ask you about. We're trying to find out what sort of role Blastia played in ancient times. And if Blastia ever brought disasters to this world, we'd like to know how they might have been stopped. Yorzo must still have some folklore, right? Perhaps you could tell us what you know. Very well. 
My home would be a better place to speak of such things. Please go inside and wait for me there. Hey there, where are you going? I was in the middle of my daily walk. I'll return to my house before too long. <sighs> Apatheia, Blastia, air disturbances, Entelakea, it looks like everything's connected. We might even see more connections once he's told us the Critian folklore. The Elder's house is the large building with a differently colored roof than all the others. Gotcha. Patty, we're leaving. Oh yeah, I'm coming too. We should really just go in? He's the one who told us to wait for him here! I guess the Critians really are different. They don't seem to be in any great rush to get things done, that's for sure. I know, they certainly are weird, aren't they? Actually, you're kind of like that too, Judith. That's funny, I don't see that at all. Seems like Patty'd fit right in here too. Might be nice to live here. Ah, there you are. Welcome back. I've kept you waiting. Now please, step this way if you will. Huh? This is the very means by which the lore of Miorzo is passed on. But, uh, it's just a wall. Judith. Use the Nagig as you touch the wall, and repeat these words. City of dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension. City of dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension? What's happening? Whoa! So the Nagig can do this kind of stuff too. You know about the Nagig. Through its power and the secret phrase handed down, the wall's true form is revealed. Th this painting is kind of creepy. The Kritya, stewards of wisdom, founders of the mighty Garaios and ancient sages. Our misbegotten wisdom has sown only the seeds of ruin. The Blastia we created granted us blessings, but also blighted the air, lifeblood of this world. Then Rita was right. There were disturbances in the air in the past. You think this is showing a disturbance in the air? It looks more like the air is trying to eat the planet. Hmm. It is said that a great mass of air threatened to swallow the very planet whole. The blight grew ever stronger and brought forth a cataclysm. In our terror, we gave a name to the cataclysm, the Adafagos. Adafagos? The world united to challenge the Adafagos and banish the loathsome power which created it. Hey, could that be the Entelakea? It does look a bit like monsters and humans fighting something off together. Though the Garayo civilization was lost, the Autophagos was quelled in the end. 
the fact that we are all still here today is evidence enough of that. So then, is this painting showing the Atafagos being brought under control? What is that? It looks like a large ring. What is that? I can't say. I've wondered that myself. Hey, what's the last thing it says there? Judy? Hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the child of the full moon. The Atafagos disappeared into the void. What? The world's prayers. Life faded from the children of the full moon. Our world was preserved, but the story shall remain here for generations to tell of our sin. 240th year of Asul. What's that supposed to mean? There is no further explanation of what each of these phrases may mean. Our ancestors created the Blastia, which led to the downfall of their entire civilization. They then chose to abandon the Blastia and sever their ties with the outside world. Estelle! Let her go. This is all the lore of Miorzo. Thanks. You've given us a lot to think about. You know what's helpful? There's this magic cucumber that'll turn any dish into a gourmet meal. I think we'll pass. Could we trouble you for a place to rest a while? I feel we may need to impose on you until our friend has calmed down. Hmm. You are free to use the house next door. No one lives there right now. Thank you. Okay, let's be going. Everything the Elder said is true, isn't it? His interpretation of the murals might not be perfect, but with all he told us, it was very convincing. We knew this was a global problem once we talked to Pharaoh. He granted us time because he knew how we would react when we saw this. He probably wanted to show us humanity ain't cut out to handle the situation. And to make us give up on Estelle. So everything's just going according to Pharaoh's plan, then? I will not let that happen! Never! I won't give up on her! Cataclysm? The Autophagos? If that legend's true, then maybe the power of the Child of the Full Moon isn't the only thing to blame for bringing out the Autophagos. But what about the hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the Children of the Full Moon part? Maybe they averted danger by killing the cause of the Autophagos, the Children of the Full Moon. But, but wait! Aren't the Hermes Blastia the real cause? Can't we just stop those? It might not be just the Hermes Blastia. That legend made it sound like all Blastia disturbed the world's air. Right, Rita? The Elder said that Blastia are Blastia. There are no normal ones or special ones. I think that means the only thing that's different is how much air each formula uses. Even the Blastia we're using? Bodhi Blastia are special, but all Blastia utilize air in a formula. They're all the same. And formulas need air to work. The Hermes Technique, the Children of the Full Moon, they're probably only part of the danger. With more and more Blastia, the Autophagos will awaken. This is what the Entelikea are afraid of. And that's what I was worried about. I didn't want to admit it. Blastia couldn't be bad. The people who used them for evil were the bad ones. That's what I always believed. But 
I was wrong. So does that mean we have to stop every Blastia? Like the people here in Murzo did? Aye. We should toss every Blastia in the trash. Gotta row our boats with oars, too. That's impossible. We need Blastia for our everyday lives. Barrier Blastia, Aqua Blastia, Bodhi Blastia, too. Yeah, you're right. So, it's really not possible? I couldn't take on a really tough monster if I didn't have this. Yeah, I wish we could use Blastia without worrying about consuming air. But I guess that's just a dream. The Rizomata formula! What's that? All things exist due to the sublimation, reduction, formation, and dispersion of air. Some think that a still undiscovered theory could freely manipulate those essential mechanisms of air. Formulating that theory is the ultimate goal of current magical research by mages around the world. So that's the Rizomata formula? If it's found, manipulating air will become so much easier. Of course, we need a formula to reconstruct air from power that was originally converted from air. But Estelle's power is actually directly manipulating air. Estelle is the closest thing to the Rizomata formula. If we can use a formula to interfere with and neutralize Estelle's power... I don't really get it, but... If you work out that formula thing, then Estelle can live in peace, right? So by that logic, if we could control the excess of air, we could prevent provoking the autophagos. Awesome! Hmm. Sounds difficult, but awesome. So we're supposed to go looking for some formula that researchers all over the world can't find? Now you're really dreaming. I will figure out this formula. For Estelle and for me. Yeah, you do that. Huh? Raven, where are you going? For a walk. All this talk about saving the world, the ultimate goal of magical research. This conversation's a little much for old Raven to keep up with. That formula sounds nice and all, but the air is getting worse as we're sitting here. Yeah. For now, we have to find whoever is making the Hermes Blastia. Otherwise, it'll be too late, just like Pharaoh said. But how are we supposed to find whoever that is? If we follow whoever's looking for Apatheia, they should lead us right to them. Cores are made from Apatheia, after all. So Flynn and Nan and their friends? Yeah. I wonder if we'll have to... Fight them. That's kind of up to them. <gasps> what was that?
Blastia is working, why? This one is fitted with a core. Something's written here. Warp Blastia? So in other words, someone used this to leave Miorzo? It looks that way. Didn't they get rid of all the Blastia here? There shouldn't be any functioning, right? Yes. At least, that's how it should be. Hmm. What could a functional Blastia be doing here? It appears that someone's left the town. Estelle. Where's Estelle? Wait, and where'd the old man go? Huh? You don't think both of them use this? What do you mean? Blastia in our towns should have all lost their cores back in ancient times. The core was probably brought in from outside the town. It should require adjustment to function properly, but Estelle's an exception to the rules. If she can interact directly with air, she might also be able to reconstruct air to fit the core's formula. But why would she... Elder, could you get everyone to help us search to see if our friends are in town? Very well. Let's look for them too. I never should have left Estelle alone. Maybe I couldn't have done anything, but I should have stayed with her. She was so depressed. You're not responsible for this. Beating yourself up over it won't bring her back. I know. And what happened to Raven? He was acting a little strange. Do you think they're working together? I really doubt they'd both disappear at the same time. But why just the two of them? Don't make me start questioning your loyalties, Raven. Thank mm -hmm. you.